Nanamo bars? Nanamo bars? Nanamo bars? Hey, it's me, your friend Kira, and I'm back making your comments. Thanks again for all your suggestions. They have been very interesting and taking me on a personal journey. Today, we're gonna to be using Ryan's suggestion of Nanamo bars? Nanaimo, Nanaimo. It's a place in British Columbia. Is it British Columbia? It's in Canada and it's a Canadian treat. I had never heard of these before, though the concept is very familiar. It's a wafer nut coconut base and then custard and then some chocolate on top. Uh, we're gonna be making them into a pie, a vegan pie. <laughs> I really feel like this is ours to win. Okay. Let's give it a try. So we're gonna start by making our base, which is gonna be very close to what I made with the cheesecake. So we're gonna take almonds and some coconut, salt, and we're gonna pulse these. Sure, sure. All right, now I'm just gonna add Bugs, just kidding, it's dates, oops, it's stupid. About 10 to 12. And a tablespoon of coconut oil. So next I'm gonna add some maple syrup. So I'm just gonna start by adding a tablespoon. And back to, how's it going in here? Yeah, that looks, mm, yeah, squishy. So we're actually gonna bake this for a couple of minutes um, just to make sure that it stays together. That's all. I'm having second thoughts. It's just a fun trick. Create lots of waste. Three holes. Kind of find the center there and cut. Cut here. And then we have a circle. Nice, right? Press it down. Do we need more? Do we need a higher base? It's not quite covering. I'm gonna put this in for about 50 minutes into a 350 degree oven, Fahrenheit. <laughs> so next up we need to work on our custard. First I'm gonna take my oat milk, just a cup. I'm gonna combine it with a quarter cup of corn starch. So make sure to work quickly. And eliminate any lumps of, look at that, it's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna add a cup of my favorite canned coconut milk. Half a cup of maple syrup. And a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. So I'm gonna whisk all this together. I'm just gonna add a sprinkle of turmeric, just for color. So I'm gonna put this over medium heat until it thickens up, and then we'll pour it into our crust. So we have our base, which is looking pretty good. Um, it's firm, which I kind of am worried about now that it's firm. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour my custard directly into this. All hot, very hot. Oh boy. I need a spatula. Starting to set very quickly. Just worried about. So I'm just gonna let this uh, cool down for a little while. I'll cover it and then I'll put it in the fridge for four hours, five hours, I'll probably be asleep. I'll, I'll probably put it in the fridge until tomorrow morning and then I'll put the chocolate layer on top. Welcome back. Uh, usually 
I don't think that I do like a next day anything. Our custard's looking pretty set. I already tried to release it. It's very thin, which I feel like if I had done like a smaller one, it would have been thicker the way I have envisioned the bar. The pictures that I have seen would be consistent with how I feel. However, that's not the case, but now we need a chocolate layer. So we're gonna melt our chocolate. Four ounces of chocolate. I am not sure this will work, but I'm hoping it'll be a thin layer so I can cut through it pretty easily. We need two tablespoons of vegan butter, so I'm gonna stick this vegan chocolate and vegan butter into the microwave for 30 second bursts. That makes sense to me, does it make sense to you? All right, so this is looking pretty good. It, uh, it only took about, I think it took a minute. I only had to do two bursts. Once it's nice and incorporated, that looks very homogenous. Silky, beautiful, perfect, gorgeous, talented, successful. <laughs> We're just gonna pour it on. Like, I don't have any rhyme or reason. This just looks, looks like it's time. Just, uh, work very quickly. Just sort of distributing it as much as possible. That's not working. Um, nothing, okay, nothing fits in here. Uh, I hate this. Tiniest, <gasps> I touched it! Uh-oh, uh-oh. And my last little thing, look at that, it's already setting up. I just wanted to add some decoration on top, even though that's not typically how it looks. Quick, before it, before it cools. That's pretty, that's a party. I have decorated this. I don't think it's gonna stick very well, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge. I'm gonna go uncover just in case I don't wanna trap any like moisture in there. This is almost set. Do I even need to put this in the fridge? I'm just gonna take something sharp, like a knife, or I could've used that spatula if it wasn't covered, and just sort of make sure the chocolate isn't like, sitting right against the sides of the tin so that when I unmold it, it doesn't pull it in a weird way. It's not very pretty, and I'm sorry, Ryan. I think this, I may not have done it justice, but I think we're pretty close. Do you want to do the honors? Do I? Look at it. See, it's... Okay, so it's already... It's okay, so the chocolate is... Operating interesting. In interestingly. Mm-hmm. Is it good? You made yes. a... You made a really bad face. No, what? It, how is that... You went... Is that vegan? You went... Yeah, it's vegan. How is it... The chocolate is still too thick. Who suggested this? Ryan from Canada. It's Ryan in Canada. This is good. You like it? Yeah. It's kind of like an eclair donut without the donut. Mmm. I can't really taste mm. the base of it though. I taste the chocolate and the cream, but nothing else. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for your comments and your suggestions. They've been, I mean, alarmingly positive in your life, it seems like. Best suggestion, yeah. So yeah, if you have any more suggestions, I can keep adding to this series. Is it a series? It's called Zane's Treat Time. Zane's Treat Time. If you'd like to contribute to Zane's Treat Time, leave a comment below with a suggestion of what I should make. It will be vegan and we will be wowing this person mostly. Wow. 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 Thanks so much for watching. Bye.